So this is the start of the Rob Adams Park. It's a circular park that is um, sort of here on the edge of uh, the Mountain Gate area. And it has a play structure and it has some basketball courts as well. I'm going to show you guys that. I'm going to walk back there. So the one thing to note about this park that's kind of dangerous is it is right next to a road. And while it does have this embankment, um, if your dog doesn't have like a really good recall and they don't really know what they're doing, it's kind of dangerous to have them off leash in this park. Um, at the same time, there's multiple entrances for this park. We have one park here where everybody parks, but since it is a neighborhood park that the whole neighborhood uses, there can be people coming from uh, different directions. Uh, usually it's not that busy though. Um, and by different directions, I mean that if people are walking on the sidewalk and they can also come through the back side of the park, which I'll show you in just a minute. So this is more towards the rear of the park. The sidewalk gets a little bit farther. There's actually a path down there that you can walk on as well, which you guys will see. And you can see here we have the basketball court. There's also a drinking fountain and poop bags for your dog. And then of course this larger field out and back. Another thing to note about this park is there are uh, like ground squirrels. And the ground squirrels live on this hillside. I mean, I don't see any today, but if your dog likes to chase after critters, so that's something that you're going to want to be aware of. The ground squirrels live all on this hillside right here. And you can see there's also a um, trail there that people use to come down to get into this park. So there are several places for people to come and potentially um, enter in ways you're not expecting. This rear field of the park is pretty safe though. Um, you can usually see people coming, especially from there or from down this hillside. But where you can't see people coming from is over here. So that little path, we're going to walk down that and I'll show you how that looks. It goes around a little bit of the bottom of the park and there's like a little bit of a uh, watershed area. Um, Nothing too fancy, nothing too exciting, but it does exist. And we have this hillside here, full of brambles, full of thorns. Don't play on the hillside, guys. And so this path also connects into the sidewalk as well. So if you happen to live in this mountain gate area, you're going to be familiar with this. Then you do have the choice of walking through the park with your dog or when you're going on your jog or whatever uh, because the sidewalk is literally right over there. A piece of fuzz just flew right into my eyeball, guys. And it's still there. Damn. All right, so you make a little turn here and here is the other part of the path. Excuse me as I get this out of my eyeball. Hang on. All right, so here I am, back again. That was obnoxious. You have some nice dogwood trees along here and evergreens, and this is not particularly shaded because it is young growth. Oh yeah, and uh, there's a little bit of, I don't know, yeah, you can see that there's some water here. This is not like a beautiful pond that is uh, maintained or, or anything like that. It is just a little watershed. It's overgrown with cattails and things like that. It's pretty much just, uh, it collects water. Um, that's its whole purpose. It collects water off the hillside and whatnot. Um, so it is a little bit overgrown and let to go uh, pretty much back to nature, I guess, is what you would say. And then this path goes up here. And so it's just sort of a quick, peaceful, quick and peaceful little walk through kind of a nature area that we just happen to have. Some more water access. Uh, just beware, you know, this is not, as I said, it's not maintained. 
it's going to be really dirty and mucky in there. So if you've got a dog who really likes the water, this is perhaps a place where you need to have them leashed. Um, this is an unleashed park, I will say that. However, of course, the rules sometimes can be a little bit uh, flexible around those things. Uh, please leash your dog if you see any other dogs. That's usually a good rule of thumb there. And then this path just sort of moseys some more. And then from here, you can cut across back into the park proper, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can go down to there, which goes over to the sidewalk. So this is essentially, you know, the water feature that this park has. And uh, this is the park in a nutshell. It's nothing, nothing too fancy, not huge, but it's a nice little spot to go with your dog. And fairly predictable as far as parks go.